I totally messed up on the lighting of my gothic vampire and I didn't realize it until it was too late. You see, I painted the background first and established the lighting coming from the top left of the page, like this. But when I went to start the painting, the subject, you know, the gothic vampire, I still need to name her, I realized the photo reference lighting was coming from the right, not the left. See, the light in the photo is hitting the back of her dress, like this. And that means that the shadows are going to be on the left side, like this. I try to visualize how the cloth is folding three-dimensionally by drawing imaginary lines across it. And now you can see why the light is hitting here and not here. Okay, let's try the same object with the same imaginary lines and add the lighting on the left. So here's where we, as artists, draw upon, no pun intended, our experience of observing objects in the world and how light affects them. The light will be on the left and the shadows will be on the right. See? And that's how I was able to take the lighting from the right and, using my imagination and a small panic attack, I was able to keep the lighting consistent so my gothic vampire matched the world I placed her in.